Hello, and welcome to episode 10 of Let's Play Minecraft. Um, as you guys can tell, I'm in a completely different spot from where I was before. Well, actually not that far away, because there's the dungeon right there. Um, a little while ago, Minecraft.net crashed, and I was tempted to come on and do some off-camera work, and I lost everything I had, except for what was inside that chest back at the hut. And I had to get all, it all back. I got more. I got, um, lots of iron. Uh, more bricks, and I found a bunch of mushrooms. And, uh, lava. And new caves. As you can see, this is sort of what I did when I pillaged the dungeon. Um, I'd say it's pretty good. I don't have any torches, otherwise we'd be exploring everything over there. But, um, yeah, it actually turned out really, really well. Um, the whole thing went perfectly. Uh, because all the spiders were gone, and it was just me there. So, that's why I was not too worried about that. Just give me a second while I pull over my iPod so I can perfectly see the timer on it. And as you guys can see, I've made a torch trail. And what is that? Skeleton. Lovely. I'm just gonna, you know, walk right past him. He's not gonna see me. Oh, there's another one. Okay. What's with all the skeletons? I also, um, thanks to that dungeon and a retarded creeper that tried to kill me. Um, there's actually many creeper attacks. With no items, apparently. Because there's now a new hole out. Uh, excuse me, a new hole outside the house. Um, right here. Creeper was standing over here. I did hear him. Well, I heard him. I thought it was a chicken. Don't know why. But yeah, we got all this stuff. We got a book. Tell my bookshelf. Um, lots of wool. I don't know why those two aren't together. Um, some wheat. And saplings. And you know, cacti and stuff. Yeah. I'd say it was a pretty successful time. I just shut that in there. Okay. So, I don't actually know what I'm doing. Oh great, it's becoming daytime so I can go show you the advances I made on the town. As you can see, just from standing here, the entire top layer is finished. Right there you can see it's beginning. So I'm just gonna hop. Uh, I got a reed farm so I can make more bookshelves later. And I put the uh, fences all the way around. And just to prove it to you, well, I'm going to actually walk all the way around. While that skeleton burns in the background. So yeah, it was a pretty good thing. I also learned that I had to actually I tried to record this before. Learned that I have like I have so many fresh recordings of this that my computer was almost out of uh, space. I had to go in and delete some of this, some other stuff that I had on there. And then I was fine. But, um. Let me think, where was that amazing cave I found? I think one amazing cave was right over here. And then there was the giant wall, which I know is way, 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 way over there. Um, past the lava fall that we found. Ooh, got some leg. And I explore a bit, I guess. Tree. Tree. Floating tree. Because uh, I cut it down at one point. And here we are. Seems like it's just a walk through and then you turn this way. Come down. I put down a lot of torches just so I wouldn't be 
walking into my death. And then I found a water source down here. The water source came from all the way over here. There's actually more and more stuff. The, oh, see, look, I have an iron. That was literally right in front of my face. I don't know how you missed that. I don't know how the heck I missed this. Oh, oh. oh. Well, would you look at that? My pick is broken. But I do have a lot of this. So quickly make a workbench. I know it sounds like I got a stuffy nose. That's because I'm, uh, I actually am a bit sick. I don't know why I'm doing this now. I just decided, you know what? Screw it. It's been like three weeks since I did one. I'll do one now. Although, I kind of regret it. So yeah, I got all that stuff. Ah, the end. There's lots of coal down here. I just haven't managed to find it because I ran out of torches. Ah, I just kind of find that ironic. And as you can see, Black Abyss. I think this could just be a dead end though. We'll find that out, I guess, later. Uh, there's the coal I knew was here. Lots of coal, too. What? The... Uh, whoops. Did not... No, there's that hole there. Obviously, I was dug up there at one point. Just totally forgot. So, yeah. Oh, wow. There's lots. I actually managed to find a lot of... Lava. I only had one bucket on me though, so that's why I don't have an amazing supply of lava just yet. I plan to make two endless supplies of valuable liquids, as if one knows. That would be lava and water. This is the only two liquids we have in all of Minecraft. I'm gonna do that. Oh, cool. Just mine these out of my way. And finally we find the end of this coal vein. Let's see how many sticks. Well, don't have to worry about running out of sticks, apparently. Oh, yeah, I didn't even realize I had torches. I think the reason I ran out of coal is because I had to uh, build these bricks. These very, very good bricks. And yeah, this takes me down. Yeah. Ooh, creepy noises. I love the fact that most people be like, <gasps> creepy noises, and I just say, yay, for them. Because usually that means you either you're really, really freaking far down, or you just found, like, a huge cave. Obviously, I found a cave that's very ample. And it has very ample amounts of coal. So, this was a dead end. I was hoping it would lead to something amazing. Down here. And this. Oh yeah, I already discovered that was a dead end. Don't know why I insisted on going that way. Now let's keep looking around for anything. Ah, uh, dead end. I was hoping to be a small little tunnel that brings you lots and lots of things. I guess it's the first deep natural cave we found, other than the first one. I do know for a fact that there is a bigger cave uh, this way. I believe. Now I'm trying to remember where I had it. I didn't mark it down or anything, so 
I don't know where it is. Uh, I don't think I explored you yet. So look, you find things you're not looking for. Okay, that was just a actual cave, not a pit. Walk through and what's this? Oh yes, this is the older cave where we found that creeper. I believe this is the epic cave that I was talking about. Obviously, it's not this one. This is where we found the iron earlier. Hmm, must have been over here. Yes, it has to have been. Otherwise, I shall feel like an idiot. Ah, yes, here it is. I hope. No. Crap. I have no idea where my epic cave is. Oh, I think I found it. Yes, I did. I found the epic cave. Iron was all the way down there. I heard skeletons on the other side of this. As you tell, I did go down here because this is where I heard these bad peoples. Uh, let's get this iron. Oh, no, you can't break iron with wool. It's physically impossible. Well, it would appear that there's just a trick. <sighs> so it appears this was all just a lie. These skeletons were not down there. But there was a bit of stuff up here. This was all iron. And that little area was all iron. I was so happy when I found it. Like it, it was just like, oh my god, iron! Get all my stuff back now. Yay! Let's see, is this lead to the surface? It would appear not. Let's make it lead to the surface. This is an easier descent. Actually, no, that's just a waste of time. But yes, actually, I heard. Tons of skeletons down here. I wonder where they all went, though. I know I'm not crazy. Maybe there's like a hidden cave here. That would be the best case scenario. Or a dungeon. Not a dungeon. That would be so awesome. Dirt. What's the dirt doing down here? Huh. Oh, there goes a shovel. <sighs> so, gonna mash through here. Oh, there's like a minute left. Uh, oh. Well, this is just appears to be a waste of my time. And I apologize for the shared sound of this episode and the next one's coming. Um, I'm a little sick right now. But I decided to do it now. So, I guess we'll end off episode 10 down here. See you guys next time.